Hi guys, I've just uh, started installing Windows 10 on this Dell uh, XT2. Basically, uh, I'm going to try to run on it a free version. I will not enter any uh, serial key, but I will use a Windows uh, Live account or Microsoft Live account, how it's called. And I will allow insider builds. From what I find on the internet, it seems Windows allows you to use uh, Microsoft, not Windows, allows you to use uh, Windows 10 without a license, uh, with uh, just a few minor things that you cannot change, like the wallpaper and uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to try and run it on this because it, it will surely be better uh, on a touch screen than. Uh, Windows Vista which I have a license for is. So let's see how this goes. Files are copying and uh, all seems to be going well until now. I've clicked on uh, ignore when I was uh, asked for the code so yeah no problems. The setup went uh, way faster than expected. Basically, I'm doing the final settings and then we should uh, be into Windows. So let's see if everything works this good up uh, until the end. Ooh, Windows 10 is working perfectly, or at least until now. I just uh, have to install a few drivers, about four of them from what I see. It seems to find the most important things like uh, networks and uh, sound. Video driver uh, it found. So yeah, this is pretty good. I don't actually, oh yeah, I think even sound. Yes, so this is pretty good. I think Vista found way, way, way less drivers by itself than uh, Windows 10. So I'm going to install that and see how everything works. Okay guys, uh, not good news. It's uh, extremely hard, probably almost impossible or even impossible to find uh, the missing drivers. This one uh, keeps popping up, then it disappears and there seem to be other issues. I wanted Windows 10 because I wanted to run Android games in emulators on this. The emulators don't work on it. So yeah, there is no reason to keep Windows 10 and try to find drivers. From time to time uh, uh, I get weird uh, corruption like this you can see here sometimes it happens all over sometimes just in small areas there is no updated driver for the graphic card it's just the one that windows already installed maybe you are lucky and if, if you spend tons of times uh, searching maybe you find something that was made for other laptops with same uh, components and will work for this but it, I honestly, it, it's not worth it, for me at least, no, clearly no. So yeah, what can I do? And then you have weird problems like this, when you turn down the brightness at a point, it will basically shut down the display. Uh, if it's dark in the room, let me just simulate this by putting my finger on the sensor. Uh, Basically, it will shut your screen down, it will not dim it, and then sometimes it takes a lot to power it back on, so yeah, I'm not going to struggle fixing all these uh, issues. Clearly, it will take a very, very, very long time. If you want, you can try, it's running. You can install programs on it, but it has so many problems that I honestly think it's not worth it. The touchpad isn't working pretty good. Uh, the 
touch screen you can see I'm pressing here and it sees here maybe this is a problem with this particular tablet I don't know but it's here I don't know not worth it okay it's still uh, working okay with this one so no problems there but close yeah I don't think it's it's good enough to keep this Windows because Vista from what I see is working perfectly and I have a Vista license on this so yeah I'm going to keep that this would have been better for uh, the touchscreen options that it has but yeah not good enough so that's about it guys what can I say thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments give this video a like if you found it useful and see you again next time bye